On the march, the empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Renewed hostile actions against United States ships on the high seas in the Gulf of Tonkin have today required me to order the military forces of the United States to take action in reply. Dr. Martin Luther King, the apostle of nonviolence in the civil rights movement, has been shot to death in Memphis, Tennessee. Senator Kennedy has been shot. Is that possible? He still has the gun. The gun is pointed at me right at this moment. Take a hold of this thumb and break it if you have to. <laughs> calling themselves members of the Weather Underground last night planted bombs in federal office buildings in Washington and Oakland, California. They took the babies out of the incubators and left the children to die on the cold floor. Survivors of the USS Liberty are demanding a congressional investigation into what happened and acknowledgement that the Israeli Air Force bombed a U.S. intelligence Navy ship. The death of bin Laden marks the most significant achievement to date in our nation's effort to defeat al-Qaeda. The Taliban is taking responsibility for shooting down a U.S. helicopter. More than 30 people were killed, and there are reports this morning that most of them are U.S. Navy SEALs. There may be a false flag incident where some uh, ship goes down and you be used for the excuse to accelerate the next war. If there's one thing that has unified Democrats and Republicans, and everybody in between, is that we all hated the bank bailout. 
The Department of Homeland Security is apparently on a huge ammo buying spree. It comes out to like 1.6 billion rounds of ammunition. Today, it is infinitely easier to kill a million people than to control a million people. They estimated that they would have to eliminate 25 million people in these re-education centers. And when I say eliminate, I mean kill. I'm here to warn people. You keep telling me to shut up. This isn't a game. From the front lines of the information war, it's Alex Jones. The globalists are creating a planetary system of crises to pose as the saviors and bring in total social engineering. William F. Jasper is our guest. I want to pick his brain about some of the political things happening with the Bundys, where he thinks Obama's going, how he sums up the mindset and belief system of the globalist. It's really a neo-feudalistic system of eugenics merged with transhumanism for my deep research. But it doesn't even take deep research. It's across the board, but I want to see if he's got a deeper view on that because he is a serious uh, intellectual in the, in, the, in the deeper research of these people uh, and, and a trailblazer uh, exposing things. I just want new listeners to know that. I'm, I'm going to go to him in just a moment to get into some of the other abuses of people as archetypal examples of what's going on in the West, because they just phrase this like, oh, this guy ought to pay grazing fees. The power to tax, the power to destroy. They can raise them to any point. It's like your property tax. Grazing fees, property taxes didn't exist before. But we're going to go back to him in a moment. I didn't plug anything last hour. That's because I get so impassioned. I even skip radio breaks, and then we've got to pay for those because I get so impassioned. Uh, it is essential to fund this operation. And we have the very best products on top of it. Things that I use, things that I've developed, things I believe in. The best books, the best videos, the best information, the best t-shirts to meet like-minded people and spread the message of liberty. Made in America, madein1776.com, Made in America Apparel at InfoWarsStore.com. George Washington belt buckles. All of it helps fund the operation. 1776 golf shirts. It's all there at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. I talked to Weldon in the back. We have enough of the Pro 1, Pro 2 as well. Systems that cut out the glyphosates, the, the, the fluoride, everything. It's the best gravity-fed filter out there. We already have the lowest price on these with the Traveler unit that's stainless steel. Normally, we have 10% off with promo code WATER. Right now, with promo code WATER, you get 25% off at checkout. And we've got a bunch of discounts, too, on the entire family of ProPure. And then they just you corrected me. All the other stuff is promo code WATER to get 10% off. It's just period, 25% off on the Pro One. I said it was over Tuesday. It's now Wednesday. I'm extending it to Friday, and then it's gone because we have enough supply, maybe. In fact, it may be gone Thursday, but your purchase makes the broadcast possible. Plus, you need one of these systems. It hands down annihilates the other gravity-fed filters out there. We would carry them if they were anywhere as close because in free market, you want to carry the widest selection. But when something's so much better and the same price or less, I only sell that. And we also sold the live straw and some other systems, but they're in a different family of products. They just make it safe to drink. They don't cut everything out. This does. Infowarsstore.com or 888-253-3139. That's how we fund the reporters. It's how we fund it all. We're not state run. We don't get money like NPR, MSNBC, or Media Matters from George Soros. We, you know, with bailout money he got from the government. We or Warren Buffett paying for media propaganda when he's the biggest recipient of the bailout. We get it through free market, free association. So InfoWarsStore.com or 888-253-3139. You can also write to us at P.O. Box 19549, Austin, Texas, 78760. And when you purchase the products, you get high-quality products, but it really is like a donation to Liberty because we are listener-supported. And, you know, if some folks don't like my style of being bombastic and angry, some people love it. I'm the most popular in all the metrics out there. Doesn't matter. Some folks don't like me. We got David Knight. We got Jakari Jackson. We got Leanne McAdoo. We got uh, John Bowne. Uh, we've got Darren McBreen. We've got Kurt Nemo, Don Salazar, Kit Daniels, and all the great editing people like Rob Jacobson and, uh, and, and Anthony Gucciardi 
and Mikhail Thalen and the great crew in there running things. I mean, we're just here to fight for freedom. We bring you these great guests. Okay, I'm going to give you the floor for about five minutes, sir, to get into some of the cases you were going to cover. I know those folks wrote a book. He died recently. The incredible harassment, the, the arrogance. When I went to multiple national parks, like the Grand Canyon in 97, I'm sure you've seen the film because you're sourced in it, America Destroyed by Design, they would literally run up when I'd say, hi, can I talk to the park ranger, uh, your information person, about the UN sign and, and what that treaty means with, with, with the buffer zones? And they would come out and threaten to arrest me. I mean, it's like people show up with a sign, don't take Bundy land. Get back, I'm going to shoot you. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, free speech, I'm going to kill you. You, you know, the, it, it, it's, they've gotten a bunch of whacked out people to work for these folks. Uh, okay, uh, break that down, William F. Jasper. Well, uh, Alex, it's, 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 it's very large. It's all over the country. I've focused on the West, but uh, it, of course, that's where the federal footprint is the biggest by far, uh, where we have in my home state of, of Idaho, over 50% of the land. In Nevada, it's uh, around, I think, uh, 69% up in, or 87% uh, up in Alaska, 69%. So, um, uh, but uh, this uh, is happening all across the country. Some of the earliest uh, stories that we did on this, which uh, demonstrate that th this is uh, has everyone targeted, dealt with uh, cases uh, such as O.C. Mills and his family down in Florida, Pensacola. Uh, this was uh, almost, uh, what, 25 years ago, uh, close to 30 years ago. Uh, and the EPA came after him for cleaning up a piece of land that he bought that was covered with uh, old cans and tires and wheels and, and uh, junk. He cleared it off and put some uh, fill dirt on it. They threw him in jail for, for almost two years, 21 months, sent him to prison uh, for violating a wetland. And it turned out afterwards, and this is what's so important, because during the course of a trial, the victims, the, the, the people that are treated as criminals, are dragged through the mud. They are treated as eco-villains who have destroyed Mother Nature, etc. And if not for the beneficent uh, impact of the uh, EPA coming in to save them, uh, they would be destroying the earth. He cleaned up. A, a, an eyesore and a, an environmental uh, disaster zone made it into a nice piece of land. They threw him in prison for it. Afterwards, uh, uh, years afterwards, the jurors came forward and said, hey, the jury foreman uh, intimidated us, lied to us. His son, he was an interested party in the case. His son worked for the Department of Environmental Resources, uh, was involved in the case. And the jury foreman had uh, uh, poisoned uh, the case against O.C. Mills and his family. And the judge had uh, carried out misconduct in the case. And the, the EPA had, was later proven to be wrong. Uh, the ditch that he filled in uh, wasn't a wetland. They later admitted that. Uh, so what happens is, though, uh, years later, he's destroyed financially. Uh, many times the victims are totally morally destroyed and their reputation has been destroyed. And they tried, they've done the same thing to many others. One of the other cases we covered was William Ellen in the state of New York, upstate New York. He was hired to build a wetland by a wealthy developer. He went through all, they wanted, he wanted to have a place for ducks and geese and waterfowl and whatnot. So he built, a, I think, a 200-acre little lake there. Had all the permits from the state, from the feds. After they got it going, uh, the environmentalists decided uh, they wanted to put the kibosh on that. They got the EPA to co come after him. He was sent to jail. For building a wetland. Uh, Remember the grandfather things. in New York that killed the rat in the tomato patch with his granddaughter. He got arrested. The, the, the point is with the green police, the mayor of San Francisco said the Audi commercial is really what we're going to do. We're going to start arresting you. A San Francisco firm made the ad. This is propaganda. Now, I had said it was propaganda a month before he said in the news, no, we're going to come arrest you for your hot tub. We're going to arrest you for your wood-burning stove. People were laughing at me until he came out and said, no, no, this is 
pre-programming this if year. You put a, if you put a piece of paper in the aluminum only recycling bin, if you uh, put uh, put some green waste in uh, another recycling bin, pretty soon, you know, in these places, you're going to have 50 different recycling. But GMOs, bins. okay, everything's fine. So, so expanding on this, you were getting into another Western case. Uh, well, they the, want to throw everybody in prison.